So this is your average pipe clamp. And this is an industrial $45,000 glue clamp system. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing these two glue systems by putting them in two head-to-head -head competitions. I'm gonna be operating the pipe clamp, and Brian over here is gonna be operating the glue clamp system. Hey, you can beat me, old man. Look at your shirt, it's wrinkled. Look at your shorts, they don't even fit you. Look at hey, your hey, shoes. How old are you, like 16, 17? Old enough for your mom. <laughs> Got he. And by the end of the video, we hope to answer the question, is this glue clamp right here even worth it? Or should I just stuck with these $15 pipe clamps? So this right here is your average pipe clamp. These are actually my old pipe clamps that I've done hundreds and hundreds of glue ups on since I was 16 years old is when I started buying all these. What I really like about these pipe clamps and what I think is a huge pro is how easy it is to get into them, right? It's like 15, 20 bucks to buy one of these. They're really cheap. They're really easy to get into and they're super easy to understand, right? I mean, literally, you just need a pipe. I mean, I've seen people put these on broomsticks. The only con that I really don't like about them is just that they're heavy and bulky and I've had these fall off my pipe rack. Just the use of space and the heaviness is some drawbacks to them, but overall, they're better than, to me, than a parallel clamp. They're better than a lot of other clamps for what I particularly do with them. There's definitely blood, sweat, and tears on all of these. Um, I can definitely attest to that. These right here have made me a ton of money and glued up a ton of fantastic product. But you know, now I got this bad boy, so let's get into that. So this right here is a James L. Taylor industrial glue clamp system. This thing runs completely off of air, no electricity at all, so everything is pneumatic. It has nine clamps on each row and six tiers, so this thing will actually rotate, and this right here is a panel flattener. So instead of, like on the pipe clamps, you know, you have to tighten down, you know, two pieces of tubing or two boards to get everything flat. You just press this button, and it's gonna jam down on top of the board and flatten everything out, and you just take this and tighten it. So it's really awesome. And then, whenever you have this whole entire rack complete, you just press a little lever, and this is gonna rotate, and you're gonna be able to do a whole new set of glue up. This thing is a whole bunch of benefits built into it. To justify the price tag, you just have to look at time. Um, you can't really look at space, because this thing's pretty massive, right? It's like 10 feet wide. One of the things I know that this thing will for sure beat pipe clamps on that we cannot glue up today is tabletops. So I can do a conference table on here, because I can do a 38 inch glue up, 10 foot wide on this thing in one fail swoop. So for competition number one, we're gonna try to keep everything super simple. We're only gonna glue up one panel, one 19 by 18 inch walnut panel using a whole bunch of four quarter wood. When we stop, it's when the glue, the glue up is completely finished and the glue has been wiped off of it. Ryan will be over here using his industrial glue tamp table, which is actually mine because I bought it. He just gets to use it and I get to write the checks, but I'm not going there. And honestly, I think I'm a win because he doesn't get to use his fancy smancy glue machine that's gonna be in competition number two. He has to use this glue bottle and just a basic brush that we don't normally use in here. Just an FYI, got anything to say, bro? I'm ready. I'm ready to win this competition and take yeah. back what's mine. Mm, mm, okay. Let's see it. I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran. I'm, I'm, I got a lot of experience with these. You only got like, what, like two, three years since you were like 12, you've been doing this? That's about time. Okay, okay. Let's go, baby. Going down, baby. Can't handle this, Brian. Can't handle that finger movement, son. God, I haven't done this in quite some time, baby. Ah, I need more glue. <sighs> Once I get done with you, you're gonna be dirt. I, I don't want to be dirt, but that wasn't that mean either. That's why you were homeschooled. He was homeschooled, which makes it even funnier. No! I don't have my pipe straightener. Guess I'm gonna take a nap. God, I did not think it was gonna be that much faster, to be honest. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm using water. Yes, it's in a competition. I gotta beat him. I'll be getting mad because I'm using water on top of my cutting board. Would I typically scrape these and not wipe them? Yes. Done. Oh, finally. <laughs> So, as you can tell, 
I am making sure every piece of wood gets it. And if you look at Brian's right there, <laughs> look when he folds over that thing. Look at that whole end of that board, right? Fourth one from the back. Oh, he looks like he may have spread it. Fourth one from the back. I spread it. Look, right here, Jeremy. Uh-oh. See how there's no glue squeezing out of the top there? I see it, there's no glue. Oh, but yeah. if you look at mine, come over here, look how a professional does this, okay. Brian. If you notice, look at that, there's no gaps. Is that a gap right there? <laughs> Where? This guy finished a lot faster. The glue may or may not have been spread out evenly on his. Was I being too much perfectionist and still trying to do a good job and do my best efficiently? Yes. This guy may have cut a little bit of corners to get ahead. Looks like this guy ain't never been in a competition. <laughs> So we're giving that first one to Brian. I did think it was a little bit faster. This competition number two is really gonna be a telltale sign between I'm gonna be doing it the old school hobbyist way, right? And Brian is actually going to be using our glue applicator that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a JLT plate spreader. And what it does is you press this foot pedal down and this little grid system comes out right here and has tons of glue on it. And all you have to do is stamp the board and just stick it on there. So we're gonna glue up um, a maple blank and some red oak blanks, all differing sizes. Yeah, that's competition number two. Let's get it. Cheater. Y'all ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Who puts the boards like this? Who trained you? I never thought about actually setting the boards on the clamp, but actually take a long time. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster so far. No, don't get your hands dirty. You won't be able to catch your cat. Mmm, I don't even have cats. I don't even like cats. Nah, I'm not even gonna talk about your mom anymore. She's done for. I'm done talking about her. She's a nice woman. Oh yeah. I ain't been talking about your mom though. I'm glad. Yeah. She's a nice woman as well. Been there, did that. <laughs> okay. Brian lied to me, these, these panels are a little bit bigger than he said, but it's okay. I did train him to read a tape measure, so it's kind of my fault. And look, Brian, I'm actually trying to get glue over every spot because it's important. Because without glue, wood just doesn't stick together. It actually needs a little bit of TLC. That's tender love and care, not tasty little cookies, just to let you know. Don't forget about the next thing. If I win, shot is mine. Shot is yours. I got a feeling he's beat me, but I have not even looked over there. I am so focused. See the way I scrape these panels? Oh, you funny! You funny guy! You so funny guy! Go hit your vape or something, you youngster. Alright. Are you done? Good day. Good night! Well, can you give me a fan? I'm gonna need it. Oh my gosh, that was incredibly fast. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be close, actually. It's not even a little close. It's not even. Brian was done four minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Seven minutes to do five. It's taken you eleven minutes to do two. When I was in the shop and I'm doing it this way, you know, back in the day, I thought this was the only way it's done. And then I get introduced to a couple guys because I'm trying to find mentors. I'm reading books, right? And they start showing me all this stuff that's out there. And then once I started doing that and started realizing what my competition were, really not even competition, but what is actually available, that allowed me to start imagining like what could happen, right? Like how big I could get if I did use these machines because a guy with that machine, no, no offense, Brian, Brian's really, my, Brian's extremely good, but somebody that's really talented on that machine or even less talented has only done 16 loops this other way, can smoke you. You really start looking at machinery in a lot different way. It's amazing. And that's the one thing we can't buy back in life is time. And that's what these save you. Come on, man, you're almost there. Thanks, Brian. Really need the motivation at this point. Yeah.
time. That was ridiculous. So guys, competition one, decently close. Brian had a little bit of an edge, he cheated. Competition two, he absolutely smoked me, demolished me. Absolutely, there was nothing that I could have did that would have been as fast as him. Now, was he actually that fast? Brian, you think? I would say so, but 75% of it was the glue clamps, <laughs> but 25% was my pure manpower, pure skill, pure everything. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! He's full of himself, so you can see I taught him very well. What the point of this video was, was to show you the math behind these kinds of pieces of equipment. Brian was able to glue up in about a little less than two minutes per panel, where it took me with the pipe clamps five minutes. So when you're only gluing up one or two panels a day, right, it's like, okay, it's an extra 10 minutes, right? No big deal. In our shop, we glue up 72 panels a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year. If you take that math, and do it outright, you have three minutes a panel you're saving times 72 panels times five days a week times 52 weeks in a year, right? It ends up being 900 hours a year that this machine saves us. Imagine getting back 900 hours of your life every year because of this piece of equipment. And that's why I got it. And that's the knowledge that I'm trying to portray in this video is like understanding that there's stuff out there that's like this that you can't even compete with. You can't even be on that level. So understanding this machinery, getting to that point where you can afford this piece of machinery, right? Because we have to be able to feed it, right? If we're only doing up one panel a year, we really don't need this thing. So we gotta have the business to be able to support and feed this beast. But whenever you have something like this, it's incredible. It's amazing. And this is all part of that woodworking journey, that journey that Cutting It Close is here for, to help you grow your business, help you get out from that hobbyist stage, get into the business stage. Videos like this weren't around when I was starting up. I would have benefited greatly from them, so I hope y'all guys benefit greatly from them. I hope you left this video with more knowledge than when you started. And remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right. Brian, give it a try. We're out. What, no, if you... <laughs> and remember guys, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right. There we go. No, no. Oh, the... And remember guys. <laughs> and remember guys, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right. Boom, yaka, boom. Boom, yaka, boom. There we go. <laughs>